Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be using Simulink to perform binary phase shift keying. So BPSK. So what is a BPSK? Well, BPSK is a binary modulation technique where we're going to use two different phase angles to represent two symbols. And each symbol will be made up of a single bit. So to get started, we're going to create a digital input signal. We go ahead and run that. And we can see our digital input signal. And go ahead and change the sample time here to two seconds. Open. Perfect. So the next step is going to be to create a carrier wave. To create a carrier wave, we're just going to head over to the library browser. And take a sine wave block. We're going to set the amplitude to 1. And we're going to go into the block and change a couple different things. So first of all, we're going to want to increase our frequency to 4 pi and use the simulation time and sample at 3200 times perfect now we're just going to go ahead and connect that to the scope and run it Perfect. Run it one more time. And we can see a varying digital input and a sinusoidal carrier wave. Next, we're going to want to encode our digital input into NRZ. So, how do we do that? Well, we start off with a subtraction block. And again, there's, there's many ways to perform the same operations that we're performing here. But we're just going to go with the easiest solution. So we're going to take our digital signal. And we're going to subtract a constant. Zero point five. After we go ahead and do that, we're going to want to add a gain. Just like so. And change that gain value to 2. Perfect. Now we can go ahead and connect this to the scope and run it. And now you can see we have a non-returning zero digital input. Okay, so now we're going to want to take the product of the carrier signal and the NRZ digital input. So we're going to go over here. We're going to type in multi. Take the product block. And we're going to connect the NRZ digital input to the carrier wave. We're going to take a scope and connect that as such. Next, we're going to go ahead and run it. And we can pull that in. And we can see that we have a modulated signal with variant phase angles. And just to confirm, we can go ahead and add an extra port connecting that to our original input. 
opening it here. And we can see where the phase is affected. Running it again, and we can clearly see that it is working correctly. 